Hi everyone, my name is Taha Zaya and welcome on my YouTube channel Sun Lo. And today I'm going to be making a very quick video on plants, which is my passion. And like me, a lot of the people who live in Dubai and in the Emirates have started to pursue this passion. Weather is not more any excuse now for us. Uh, if you're upset with the weather outside, you can have plants inside. If you have a beautiful garden, you can beautify your garden with these plants. A lot of us have been changing homes we've been moving into bigger homes thanks to the lower rents uh, um, and now we've got more space some of us are beautifying our balconies some of us are beautifying our living space so this is going to be a quick video with some useful tips on top five indoor plants at fine city landscape hope you're going to enjoy this video number five we have the pothos or commonly known as the money plant this can be hung in a coconut shell or grown in a pot. I call this one Mrs. Loyal and it does not give up on you easily. It can grow very quickly if it loves you and you can propagate many of these from its aerial roots at one price. A tip here is to keep misting on a daily basis if you want bigger leaves. At number 4 we have the Dracaena which is another easy going and low maintenance plant. The Dracaena easily adapts to different light environments, mm. though it is best to keep it away from direct sun. A general rule of thumb is to only water Dracaena when the soil feels dry to the touch. Water plants thoroughly or until water freely flows from the drainage holes at the bottom of the pot. At number 3 we have the Zamia or the ZZ plant. This one is as cool as it sounds. I consider this as zero maintenance because it is drought tolerant. I water mine once in a month thoroughly until water freely flows from the drainage holes. Browning edges indicate overwatering and believe me plants die mostly due to overwatering than underwatering. Also, tap water can be causing leaves to turn brown, so use distilled water unless your tap water contains less salt, chlorine and fluorides. Number 2 we have the fiddle leaf. This is Mr. Tall Guy and a great plant for homes with high ceilings and minimal floor space. The plant is tall but not bushy and boasts waxy dark green leaves. It requires filtered sunlight and only needs to be watered when the soil is dry to the touch. At number one we have the Peace Lily which can add a bit of zen to your space thanks to a soft dark green foliage. If you already have experience keeping an indoor plant alive congratulations, then it might be time to add a peace lily into the mix. She prefers a shady spot, making her a great option to brighten up those empty corners in your home. I call this the drama queen because she's very moody, but her moods will help you to decide when to water it. The rule is simple, you water her only when her leaves droop. She will love you back with her blooms. The peace lily's flowers have pollen, so this plant might not be the best choice for people who struggle with allergies. If that is not a problem for you, it is recommended putting a peace lily in your bedroom since it produces oxygen at night while most other plants do that during the day. All the plants mentioned in my list are an extremely hard kill and your killer instincts will be put to test. Hope you've enjoyed some quick tips on these plants. Make sure you visit Fine City at Versan and get your plants at very affordable prices. Catch some useful tips on the temperature to maintain for these plants, the fertilization and the light and water requirements. Every plant is special and it needs customized care. Happy planting and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Look out for more details in the description of the video. Thank you.